Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Bear Bear Reviews, this time coming from the pitch dark black because the light bulb above my head has broken, um, so I'm having to use the computer monitor and also a desk lamp to light my face, hence the dramatic under face lighting, um, which probably does help because today we are going for the penultimate beer from uh, Jens from Germany, we have got Brice Bonbon by Phantom Brewery or Phantom Brasserie, I should say. Um, so you know, kind of, kind of thing. I'm in the dark with dramatic lighting because it has ghosts on it. Uh, so, from what I can gather, these wonderful Belgians uh, like to do, obviously Belgian style ales, but particularly ones that are being re-fermented with Brettamices and kind of funky stuff as well. The saison is stupendously well regarded as well, um, from what I've heard. I wonder if you can see um, use green glass, which is fine. I, I mean. We all know about why you'd want to use brown glass get sort of beers from skunking, but that's kind of cool. But um, what I wanted to see was uh, there's a lot of sediment in this bottle actually. There's loads of little bits of yeast kind of floating around on the on the uh, on the top there. There's a nice thick kind of layer uh, yeast cake at the bottom of this beer as well. So breeze bonbon. What does it mean? It means ball breakers. Uh, this is <laughs> this is a beer um, that they've created for people who. Uh, like 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 the beer's bitter, shall we say? And um, we all know I like my beers ridiculously bitter, so I can't I can't I can't complain at all. Um, so let me just see where it says here. Um, yeah, so this is just um, slightly changed, really kind of recipe from the standard saisons. Um, this is specifically meant for wine skies, braggarts, and pains in the asses, muck rakers, and troublemakers, know it alls, stuffed stuffed shirts, blowhards, and bores as well as a nut-cracking windbag prattling on self-appointed experts on everything. That, that's pretty much me in, in a nutshell, let's be honest. So, uh, yeah, really looking forward to this. I've always, always, always wanted to try Phantom, so thank you ever so much, Jens. And you probably sent me the one that suits me the most, being a bit of an arrogant so-and-so. Um, little note, bottle top, and also cork as well. So, give me a second. I had another crisis of faith as well because I've lost the nice bottle opener with um, it's got a nice cork screw on it. So instead, Swiss Army knives. I love the Swiss. Thank you for in creating these wonderful things. It means that I can actually get this beer to drink. So, with any luck, my skills in opening a bottle of wine will come into. Hey, there we go. Cool. Right. Nice level of effervescence coming off the top of it and there is a nice little headset in the glass as well. Gonna use a nice tulip glass from uh, Delirium Tremens for this one. See if we can't get some of those Belgian -y smells from it. Right. So there we are. Um, first things first is a delightful Slightly dark, strawy colour. There is massive amounts of carbonation going on on the inside there. Look at that fizz away. Isn't that magnificent? And a gorgeous, gorgeous, about two finger head on it. It pours really well because you know how rubbish I am at pouring. But this one poured pretty darn good. Uh, it is hazy, but the amount of carbonation that's going on is ridiculous. So, um, kind of, kind of kind of masks how clouded probably is. So let's get a nose on this fellow. Wow, um, it does definitely smell. There is the brett, yeasty, funky, lemony, kind of horse blankety smell. And there's also kind of like a bubblegummy tone right at the back of the nose. Kind of sriracha yeast like, but particularly getting lemon and you're getting a whole load, a whole load of brett all over the nose of that. And there's kind of floral notes too, bit of yeasty spiciness. Oh, it does smell good. It's just something a little bit a little bit more tempered than it being just a full on Brett funk smell. It's just a little bit more floral than that, a little bit more rounded in terms of smell. Okay, so enough waffle, let's uh, get on in there and give it a try everybody. Cheers. Oh yeah, oh that's nice. Well, 
First things first, this is actually uh, remarkably balanced. Um, the initial flavours I'm getting are a nice, sweet, almost candy, uh, malty flavour. Like a very typical Belgian candy sugar sort of sweetness. And then I'm getting like a cascade of tutti fruity and then lemon and all those kind of uh, the Belgian floral flavours. And then you get a bit of the tartness and a bit of the funkiness, a bit of that kind of brett character from the beer. And then it all kind of just develops and slowly ebbs into a really quite full on and strong bitterness. I mean, this is this is the ball breaker, and the bitterness is definitely stringent. Right across the back of my tongue, particularly right at the back corners of my tongue, it, it, it's completely dried out, and the finish is very dry on this. So as you, it kind of goes in sweet and supple and moist and develops through the flavours that you get in um, almost through like a cascading range from sweetness to the yeasty sort of flavours to the kind of flavours of the kind of Belgian spicy yeast flavours you say and then the bread flavours and then you get that nice bitterness afterwards it, it's a nice drawn out aftertaste too Mouthfeel is good and chunky actually, uh, medium medium heavy, and the, the, as you can tell from the carbonation, it is almost effervescent, uh, which I really like. It kind of fizzles, champagne like, across your tongue. Um, so yeah, it, it's got this nice cascade of, of different flavours that all seem to blend well. It's none of them have been overpowered, as I thought maybe like this would just be like so astringently bitter that it would be. I mean, reach the goals that it set itself, but in reality, um, the rest of the beer's flavours definitely combine more than adequately to actually make this beer surprisingly rounded. Surprisingly rounded. So yeah, I think this is actually a, a pretty damn nice beer. It's uh, one of the best, should we call it a Saison style beer? A, a, a hoppy American style Saison beer, perhaps, obviously still Belgian. Um, I think this is a good 9 out of 10. Uh, I, I'm really enjoying this. It's not breaking any moulds. I'm completely redefining the style, but I can see why this beer has a good reputation. And I can see why Phantom, as a brewery, have a very good reputation. This is such a nicely balanced beer that I come to expect from, from great from great brewers. They can produce super beers packed full of flavour but can also be balanced or can be extreme when they want to feel like they need to be. And this is an example where they've taken the extremity and tempered it and made it from a balanced beer and then still have like a, a wow, a little kick at the end of it. Um, so really well done Phantom, I, I like this a lot. And I am planning um, to culture this bottle when I get the chance to. When I get down to that wonderful little yeast cake at the bottom I'm going to try and culture the Phantom. Um, ease from this because I want some funky flavours for my next homebrew. Um, I didn't mention, as always, I didn't mention the percentage, it's actually coming through at 8%. Uh, I might be able to see there, so this is an 8% beer, right at the end of the review, I have to say it. Uh, and you couldn't tell that from, <laughs> from drinking it actually, it drinks so smooth. I like velvet in the mouth, I like velvet in the mouth. So. Um, like, favourite, comment, subscribe. Please tell me what you think if you've tried Phantoms before or if you've tried a super hoppy Saison style beer or Belgian farmhouse style beer or whatever style of beer this might be or how you want to define it. Um, it's lovely though. So until the next Bear Beer review everybody, cheers.